It's steering. It's doing things. It's calibrated. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. This is the first time I have opened these boxes and let's exactly see what goes on. Um, yeah, we got manuals. We got all sorts of stuff going on here. Zip ties. Each box has packing order, stickers. Oh yeah. So, accessories box. It's, hopefully nothing blows away here. This box has the actual steering wheel and the monitor, cables, some more cables, the receivers, more stuff. And this box has harnesses, support modular packaging box. So Let's dive into getting this together and see where I can get to. I was wondering how when you get a kit, not every steering wheel is the same um, as far as the actual shaft. Here, they come with all sorts of different adapters so you can run them on different tractors. So, let's see. Nope, too small. Too fine. This might take me a minute. That one's closer. That one's really close. Here's the one, so number four. Slides right on. Tight down in there. Good to go. I am slowly checking things off on the list. Steering wheel is on. Just gotta get a socket that fits in there. Um, different brackets, well, use the same bracket but there's different layouts because this is suitable for different tractors so we got this all done up here so two receivers two antennas went right in the bolts had to put some spacers there and then as far as the steering so it knows where it's going or how much it's turned and whatnot got that mounted on deer made it a struggle and they had o-rings inside of that which makes minimal sense down in the way bottom because it just falls all the way through anyways and this bracket i just had to notch that so little little customization to really make it work but we're going we're getting there and that's part of it i have said i think i said it before i'd like this to go on the 7520 i think that would be really really cool um that steering piece we'd have to modify it and put it on the pivot I guess we could set it right on the top. So there's some thought there because there's no front axle, but I'd have to talk to them about it. I told them this was what I was gonna put it in. Um, so picture by picture, there's a lot a lot of good things. Um, placed horizontally in the direction, um, in the direction same as the traveling direction of the vehicle. So forward. So we gotta grab that, we gotta grab the monitor. I'm probably gonna pop these off and grab a bracket that comes down and put the monitor right up here. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm learning as I go with this. I'm excited. I ran GPS, but never owned any of my own stuff. We are not that organized. We got wires everywhere, but we are gonna, hello, next step. Um, yeah, I'll enter this and then we'll see where we get to. We gotta clean everything up. And I'll go over exactly what I did. I gotta admit, the hardest part of this was the fighting the deer stuff. Um, once I read the directions and figured it out, but like, just random stuff. Like, getting the bolts out of the front up there. That was a pain. Gaining on this, steering wheel on, everything wired up. I got a mess of wires here that I gotta clean up. I started, I got the case off the top of this. Ran my wires around. 
Oops, that ain't gonna work. We're gonna have to get some slack out of that to shut that. Oh, no, maybe, maybe we got it. Okay, we can do that. I don't run with the windows open anyways, because it just sucks the dirt into it. So got the wires run down the back, around, in. That's all good there. Planter is ready to rock and roll other than some calibration. Probably got to raise those row units. Um, so we'll get that lifted up, folded up. <sighs> SIM card on this. I went to Verizon and the guys really weren't helpful at all. Um, which was annoying. I have a SIM, a 4G SIM card I followed what the directions had, but I don't, I tried to get them to activate the SIM card and they weren't about it. So that is what it is. This is actually way more user friendly once you figure out what you're doing with it. And I tried to hook, maybe we'll pull up and jump on the Wi-Fi uh, at my parents and see if we can get it set up at least. Uh, we'll do that. Let me pick my mess up and we'll pull up there. Well, I am making progress. So now I got it. I just figured out why this would not connect to my phone. My phone was set at 5G. And as I was looking through things, there's a little tab that says uh, applications that don't have 5G capability. Um, they uh, won't show up, which makes sense. So now I got a code. Let's enter the code zero one one nine eight one. And I'm gonna enter my password. Registration complete now. Um, username Duffy. Enter age thirty one. Next step. Installer name, Duffy. Come on. This is make me do more things. Uh, what, are, what are we? We're late. 17th. I know, we are so late to planning. I wanted to get this going though. Next step. Tractor brand, John Deere. I guess we gotta capitalize it. I'm a big fan of caps. The program will restart after switching types, okay. 6155 cap M. Confirm. Switching machines. Oh, we got options here. Guidance lines, field manager, guidance lines created and saved in the advanced mode will not be adapted to the fast mode. Oh, I don't know what, I think this one you can build stuff. We might have to mess around once we get in. We'll start with fast. Okay, now it's loading. So, holy smokes, look at this thing. Alrighty. Can we switch things around? RTK, no satellites. I gotta do um I gotta calibrate it and everything, so let me run through that and see where we're at. So I've messed around with this enough to learn a little things, but I gotta read this book some more. So a lot of information in there. Um, we do have to adjust that motor or that sensor down there because it is going to snap off if we keep jamming it into itself. It has the potential ability to do that. But it knows my speed very, very well. Stopped. 0.2, We're stopped. And that says we're a little bit off. we got to do some calibrations, but... Overall, and my tractor's going, it thinks we're going the wrong way. So I gotta figure out how to switch the swap that. I don't know how you switch some of these modes. I'm still learning. 
Offset interval pitch. There's a lot, lot to them. So should be way cooler once we get this going for uh, just having a daily or having the ability to not have to steer. Um, but tomorrow's a new day. It is uh, almost 10 o'clock at night. I'm going to go home and we're going to get up early. And I did send some inf some questions as far as how some of this so that I know exactly what I'm telling you guys um, to the company. And uh, I'll get back to you on some of that. But we're going to... Discs are going to be rolling in the morning and we got to get this thing all calibrated out. So we got to do a bunch of measurements. Um, and then calibrations and then that will be good to go first one freaking rocks in here oh. just hook the chain wrap it around and pull it and big. Yeah. well we're out this one's done we're ready to plant this afternoon Well, we pulled the one out with chains and four other rocks. I got a sledgehammer now. I hate rocks. It's not even the rolling baskets. It's it's the discs. They're just basketball-sized rocks that get stuck in it. I know. We need a rock picker. We need a lot of that. I need a lot of help. I'll get folded up and uh, keep going. Dragon rocks. When I was a kid, we never farmed this little spot right here. There was a strip. And uh, I really need to get a rock picker in because I'm pretty sure they never farmed it ever in the world because it was so full of rocks. And uh, we got a two for one deal going on today. There's the rock. And there's the rock. So we're doing pretty good right there. Yeah. Let me hammer them out. so far but otherwise we're doing pretty good parked up i figured i should get the planter 100 percent i got a contact info on some of my questions with the steering so able to do that but uh i'm gonna jump in there calibrate everything and go from there talking with a guy from texas on some of this so he's working through some of the things texting me back stuff as i go i did do where are we here vehicle information so we are all set for all those dimensions i just gotta ask him about how do i put the depth back i think i'm gonna change some numbers in here and then also the width of this also the width of the front tire so i'm gonna let you guys know all the details on this um, and then I told him I I just found where the number is as I was sitting here uh, the IMEI number that they need to associate with the SIM card so if I had that yesterday they might have been able to do that but I didn't know that um, 
plus I wasn't logged in, so I couldn't do it. So SIM card is in there, but it's not active activated. Let me get back to that. Okay, I messed up. And he uh, switched the antenna, so that or receivers is what I call them, because that's an antenna and that's a 4G antenna. So I switched them. Ready? Now when we go forwards, the tractor goes forwards. Imagine that. So I screwed that up. Very helpful. And he said, if you got any more issues, um, if you got any other issues, let me know. Send me a sh shoot me a text or something. Very helpful, guys. You got to tighten up the steering wheel a little bit. I got too much slop, but there we go. It's steering. It's doing things. It's calibrated. Stop. Calibration complete. Calibration is complete. So there we go. We're good there. We got everything in. I did switch to uh, the more advanced one, which then gave me implement information. So distance between the implement and the hitch, um, spacing. So we got to measure that working with list of implements. Um, I guess we can add new. Um, 7,000 space. Big deer. Oh, that wasn't a space, was it? Is it backwards? That's odd. I don't know what I'm doing. Got it out in the field. Got the GPS figured out. And I'm like, what the hell is going on here? That side drives. This side doesn't. So I took apart. I'm, I'm comparing. I'm comparing. I'm sitting here. And it's one of those things that your mind's all fried. You're tired. Middle of the day. It's hot. <sighs> what I did wrong. Anybody know what I did wrong? This has to be over here so it engages and spins it this way. So they're going backwards. You sit there and you look at it and you're like, oh, that shouldn't matter. But then when you start actually comparing, it does matter. So I've got to cut this off, move it over here. I got this newer kit. Well, I got the brand new kit. I'll put it on here because then as this turns, that turns like that. If that's here, that would turn like that, which would then lock in and turn this going the right way, I believe. Yeah, which would then turn all those going that way. <sighs> I screwed up. Well, we got the GPS to work. My mix up as far as which receiver I put on which side. So appreciate it from the support at FJ Dynamics. Um, I got to neaten up my mess here. Make sure that stays pointed straight. Um, this is on off, so I'll wrap it up. We'll make it nice. And uh, we should be ready to go planting with it other than I messed the planter up. So <sighs> transmission has to be on this side so that has to be over here to make it work so we got to cut this bracket off we got to cut that bracket off move everything to here i might have a mess up from that but i'm gonna dive into that appreciate you guys watching i'm excited to utilize this to make my life easier and just be more accurate so if you haven't done so fj dynamics slide on over check it out they hooked me up with this they said hey we're gonna send you a product give it a review put it install use it show it so um i just know this much about it right now but we're gonna learn together and I'm, we're gonna go through it so alrighty, i'm gonna dive into cutting this up and i'll see you guys on the next video appreciate you guys watching next video we should be planting corn so